Hi, this is Anusha Jain from UV Associates in and you are watching part 6 of the Blender tutorial series Blending Made Easy. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look on the draw types and modes. Now, first of all, let's split the 3D viewport. Set this window to Image Editor. In the Buttons window, go to the Scene panel. We'll set the Render Output Display to Image Editor. But before that, Render once. And set the Data Block name in the Image Editor to Render Result. Set the Render Display to Image Editor. Now our Render Results would be shown here. OK. The Draw Types now. We have 5 Draw Types. Default is Solid. Let's change this type to shaded. We have changed the viewport shading so this would not affect the render. Notice that now the viewport shading is more similar to the render. It actually takes the light of the scene into consideration. If I add another lamp by duplicating this one and move it here, it would lighten this space. Rotate the view with Alt left click. and drag, our view doesn't affect the shading. Contrast this with the solid mode. Here, rotating our view causes the lightening of faces which face, uh, which face us. Next is the wireframe type. It just draws the edges of the object. Let's add mesh monkey to see the wireframes of Suzanne. This is pretty handy when you want to actually work with objects which are hidden behind each other or inside each other. Now the texture draw type. Right now we don't have a texture so let's add an animation texture. With cube selected in the materials panel go to texture sub panel and set the text texture type to image. Load an image. Here we see the file names in the file browser. Press escape. Control click on load and you can see that we have the preview of the files. Load the image. But we still don't see it on the object. Render. The image is there on the object. To see it on the object in the viewport Click on Game, Blender GLSL Materials and here we have the image but we won't go into the details of GLSL materials right here. The image being displayed here as well as in the render is just on one face. What if we want it on all faces of the cube? Let's go to the Materials panel, Texture sub panel and in the map input tab here click on cube there you are there are a lot of other settings which we'll see later last is the bounding box this actually draws a box which will enclose the object completely in the object panel we have a draw panel you can always click on what extra draw type you want for example I want Suzanne in solid mode and I want wireframe and bounding box extra. Now come the modes. Till now we have modified the object only by grabbing, rotating and scaling. What if we want to change the basic shape of the object? We'll have to go to the edit mode for that. Press tab or select edit mode from mode. Here are the vertices of the cube. They are all selected. Press A to deselect all. Just like in the object mode, we can get right, we can right click to select a vertex, shift right click to deselect. When a vertex is selected, shift right click on another vertex to add to selection. So most of the functions here work similar to the object mode only. Observe these new items here with the edit mode. Let's click on Edge Select Mode 
and instead of vertices, now we can see the edges are displayed. The shortcut to change the selection mode is Ctrl Tab followed by Num key 1, 2 or 3 to select vertex, edge or face select mode respectively. Let's select these four vertices on the top and try G, R, S keys. This is also similar to the object mode and all the locking and etc would work here. Now with these vertices selected press E. E is for extrusion. Let's select region and notice that we have four extra vertices. Press num key 1 which causes a movement of one unit in the normal direction and then press enter. Now press S and scale down the vertices till they appear merged into each other. Now press enter. Press W to bring up this menu and select remove doubles. Notice that there are three vertices removed. So out of the four vertices that we scaled down, now we just are left with one. Now press tab to return to the object mode and here we have modified our cube. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and 